Hi, I'm Mike Melview. I write for Guns of the Old West magazine and Combat Handguns magazine. And today we're going to be shooting the Webley Mark IV 38 caliber revolver. This was the last service revolver for the British Armed Forces. It was developed just before World War II, and we'll put it through its paces today. You don't have to look very hard at the Webley Mark IV uh, 38 caliber revolver on top to see its pedigree and descent from the Webley Mark VI uh, 455 revolver on the bottom. They're very similar. If you've shot one, uh, you know exactly how the other one is going to behave functionally. But it's really a neat little gun, and uh, it's fun to shoot. So let's take it out to the range. Well, Webley's Mark IV 38 caliber revolver was really, uh, I think, trying to solve a problem that didn't really exist. I mean, at, at the time, the British Army thought that the 455 Webley Mark VI was just too much gun for the troops to handle, and that a 38 would be better. Uh, though why they settled on 38 Smith & Wesson, I honestly couldn't say, because it was already becoming an obsolete cartridge when they picked it. But the, the interesting story about this is they, they went to Webley, who had designed their firearms, their, their revolvers, since the 1880s, and said, design us a 38 caliber revolver, which they did. And then rather than going to Webley to produce it, they went to Enfield. And Webley promptly sued them for the development costs of the revolver, though the British, uh, the British Army, Ministry of Defense, said, oh no, the Enfield design is totally unique. It's not copied from the Webley. But anybody who's seen the Enfield knows that's not true. And Webley uh, eventually settled their case, though they only got about 1,400 pounds sterling uh, awarded to them uh, for their development efforts. And they had the enmity of the British government, who said they would never buy another Webley. But as it turned out, during the war, they needed guns uh, and much higher volumes than the Enfield arsenal could provide them. And they ended up going to Webley anyway to produce their gun. And uh, they really are pretty, pretty neat little pieces. So we'll put this one through its paces out on the range in a few minutes. The Webley Mark IV is a top break action, which is a little bit different than the solid frame swing out cylinder designs that most of us are used to from modern American revolvers. So we'll just take a second and show you how this operates. Well, the Webley Mark IV 38 is a brake top revolver. It opens the action with this large stirrup catch and then uh, you just load the shells up through the back. Kind of an old-fashioned action but the British seem to, to like it and to be honest with you for a low-powered cartridge like this it does just fine. So we'll load up six and then we'll go shoot it, see how it does. And there we go. As you can see, the Webley is a very mild shooting gun. It's chambered for the 38 Smith & Wesson round, which you see on the left, compared to a 38 Special, which you'll see on the right. The 38 Smith & Wesson is a completely different cartridge. The bullet is actually slightly larger in diameter than a 38 Special. Uh, it's a very low-powered cartridge, and to be honest with you, it was basically obsolete when the British decided to chamber this revolver in it. And I have no idea why they chose it instead of using a 38 special which would have been a much better choice if they had to go with a 38. All right, unloading is just as easy as loading. We we'll just press that stirrup lever and bang, all gone. As I said, this load is very mild shooting, very easy to shoot. Webley Mark IV is easy to shoot one-handed, whether you're shooting single action or in double action mode.
And we'll close it out with the last thing a bad guy is going to see. <laughs>